Hi guys, my name is Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain and welcome back. Today, um, I had something brought up to me again. And it gets brought up to me uh, on a, a reasonably regular basis. Um, and this is people not understanding um, statistics. People not understanding when, you, when someone comes to them and says the average, that it can mean num a number of different things. And... Um, in particular, this time it was brought up to me um, in regards to wages, in regards to the average wage of people within the UK. Um, and then that also relative to um, male versus female pay. And the first thing that I just want to point out is that after working in management in business dealing with contracts on a regular basis either just looking them over and getting people to sign them or looking them over uh, on behalf of my my friends and other people because thanks to some of the the qualifications and some of the experience that I have I'm fairly aware of how HR departments work and I'm fairly aware of what should and shouldn't be in a contract um, and so the, the first thing I want to say is that when people say um, that they are, um, that the average within this country for, for pay is about 20 grand, that's not per year, per year. Um, that's not technically accurate because most places quote the median average when it comes to uh, reviews of uh, information around wages. Uh, because of, you know this is this is very simple maths. This is stuff that the the people should have been taught in primary school. But the mean, obviously, is uh, the the um, the sum of all of the 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 bits of data, then divided by the number of of pieces of data that there are. And so, if you're trying to do that for wages then obviously it gets skewed one way or the other because you've got some people that are earning literally zero and other people that are earning hundreds and hundreds of millions of, of pounds. And so you've got the the skewing of in one direction or the other as a result of those outliers. But then when you actually get to uh, people talking about wages for the most part, they talk about the median, the median income. And uh, the biggest issue that I have with that is that all that means is that it's the middle value by if you lined all of them up in a row and went okay so what which one's in the middle which number separates the highest half from the lowest half which one is right in the middle there all that does is tell you where it lines up it doesn't tell you who how many people or or, or how many contracts in the UK have x amount of of money attached to them it doesn't tell you what people are actually earning, which pay brackets people fall into. Um, and I went and took a look uh, a while ago at some, uh, inf I think it was the 2013, uh, it was a 2013 or 2014 report from the Office of National Statistics in regards to um, to, to pay. I can't remember, uh, it was for, for um, some um, work that I was putting together for, for uh, presentation and I can't for the life of me remember where um, where exactly I saved it. It might be on my old computer that, that is uh, currently in storage as a result of moving everything around but I will try and find it if I can and if not I will try and find a link and leave it in the description. But the thing is if everything throughout all of the, the written sections around the graphs and around the other information um, to, highlighted the the mean and the median averages, and yet the modal average was included. The modal average being the most frequent value within a data set. That is the one that people need to pay attention to, because within the UK, according to this information from from that particular report, and it will always stick with me until it change until I see see another report with substantial change. The, the information ultimately said that the modal uh, income in the UK was between 15 and 17,000 pounds a year. In which case, most people are walking around assuming that the average 
uh, in regards to, to income, be you male or female, is somewhere in the region of between 20 and 24,000. That is the number that I am often told, often hear mentioned when I go out and, and see people or when they talk to me about various other things. And it, it's not true because that isn't the actual average. It's not the most common. The most common is much less than that. The, mo the most common is someone working full time at a, a grocery store, at a, 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 um, a supermarket um, or something like that. And even then, there's a good chance that those people is, are not necessarily on that amount, depending on what level they are. Um, like I personally, in one of in one of the the management roles that I held for the longest time, thanks to gaining bonuses on a monthly basis and thanks to um, the large amounts of overtime that I did, I managed to get to somewhere in the region of maybe nineteen or twenty k for maybe one of the f one or two of the four years or so that I was there, and so it's it's a case of that that was me in a a um, kind of junior management position, a kind of floor management position, um, and yet, you know, I know full well that the people that were below me on the ladder were not earning that much. They were probably not even earning fifteen to sixteen k. They were earning substantially less. And there are some parts of the country that, granted, have the living wage and and as a as a requirement and. That's all well and good, but the thing is, if those living wages are allowing for people to mostly be between that 15 and 16 K mark, when an awful lot of people are perceiving that you should be on 20 to 24 K a year in a reasonable job, then it kind of come it, it kind of stands out to me that this is where part of the confusion is when people get upset they feel that they are worth more, they feel worthless because they can't, thank you phone, because they can't achieve um, what they believe to be the norm. And um, there's there's no, no one is standing up and saying this. I, I have not heard on any kind of regular basis someone actually pointing out that when it's in the headlines, median in income this or median house price that, that doesn't really mean anything. It means that someone took the time to line up all of the, the numbers in the data set that they were provided and choose the one in the middle. Point out the one in the middle and stick a circle around it and report it to others. That's all it means. It doesn't mean which one is most frequent on, in, in terms of house prices. It does not mean which one, uh, which bracket has the most number of houses available within it. If, for example, um, the the UK has most of its houses sat within um, a um, I don't know 130,000 pound mark. Yeah, just pulling numbers out of out of thin air for the moment. But let's say that that most of the houses in the UK, to one extent or another, are sat within a, a bracket between maybe I don't know 100,000 and 125,000. Say, you know, give give ourselves a wider bracket. Then within that bracket. That would, if, they, if that's the most frequent number, that's the modal value. But as a result, with that modal value telling you that m most, the most frequent house price that you're going to be asked to pay is approximately 130,000, then that allows people to make good judgments, allow them to make um, better decisions, save up money in the correct way to hit their target. It gives them a goal to hit. And it's a specific goal, which is important. Um, but you you tell them what the median is, and firstly, it's probably going to be um, somewhat skewed in one direction or the other anyway, because it depends on entire the median entirely depends on how many numbers are in your data set, um, or they're given the mean, which is going to be skewed by the literal castles that are that are that are, that are kicking around in places in the UK that are up for sale, and. So as a result, it, it's, it, you know, yes, housing is a problem at the moment. Yes, people aren't earning enough anyway, and they're, they're, people aren't getting mortgages. People are having issues with lending and all manner of other problems that are still 
the the remainder the residue from um, the the recession that hit the world a few years back but what it comes down to is if you if you don't have a clear goal or if your goal seems completely unrealistic because of the information that you have that's provided it's going to be so far outside of what you think is possible and you will not go for it there are going to be people who are going to be living in really terrible situations some of which may very well have to one extent or another a capacity to move forward but because of the information that they are provided and because of how unrealistic it appears they're going to be demo you know completely lacking in motivation they're going to be um, unable to move themselves and granted this is why people like myself as coaches or as mentors or as, as uh, therapists consultants whoever are there to try and help people along the biggest problem there though is that even with uh, the surface the, the potential to get a coach or to get a, um, a, a, a mentor or consultant or whatever it is that you may happen to need for that particular situation or for that particular person those are not necessarily cheap things to acquire though there is a a um, there are a set of hoops to jump through in regards to how much it costs how much time it requires and so on and so forth that may not be realistic for those people especially if they are already in a bad situation and they only feel like it's going to get worse this is one of the reasons why I am now here talking to you but as this was given to me in terms of gender I'm going to jump to that and and this is this is something that that does annoy me because it is often being used as an excuse it is I can't do X because I will either be perceived as um, only getting it because only getting the job because I'm a man for example or I, I can't do that because they won't take me because I'm a woman or other such things firstly the uh, I believe it's the 1996 Equal Rights Act that was recently replaced by a t piece of legislation in 2010 which was an overarching equal rights piece of legislation I did read it at one point but again um, I can't remember it word for word what it comes down to is that men women people of every ethnicity and so on and so forth every religious creed in law have a right to equality of opportunity and that's the important thing in equality of opportunity if you fulfill a certain set of requirements to do a job then you will get the job as long as there is no one that is better for the job than you and possibly you will get it even if there is someone better for the job than, than you happen to be because there is a good chance I have been told this before that if you are overqualified then they will worry that you will eventually ask for more money for the same job and as a result they will not hire you because there are other people who are more thankful and willing to do the job without the possible concern for people being overqualified or overvaluing themselves and so whilst that's a thing that happens it is in no way related to race or gender or or any of these other ridiculous things that people continue to bring up as excuses what it comes down to is if a contract is put in front of you then there is a good chance that the contract that is also put in front of someone else is exactly the same it may not run out the same in, uh, over time because people will make different arrangements with their bosses and things like that after they are hired and I'm not talking in regards to pay what I am talking in regards to is for example if I had a family crisis um, and I was on a team of five other people I may be allowed extra time off that I was unpaid for to deal with that family crisis for example a relative dying or um, uh, a messy divorce or something like that then there is a good chance that, that through arranging it with my boss I would essentially earn less money and I would have more time off or I might earn as much money but also have time off because of depending on the type of contract that is entirely on that person and around surrounded by the circumstances involved that's it there's nothing else beyond that but going back to um, the averages 
the number of times that you that, that you can look into this and easily find just through Google the amount of information that you require to make the correct decisions in regards to which thing you should be listening to, which thing is 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 um, has been put together by a reputable source, and whether or not it really applies to you. For example, paying attention to the modal income, that's important because it tells you actually how what people are earning and what you can easily aspire to. And in theory, whether or not there are there are um, there are things there that you need to pay attention to. For example, if you're looking at, at something for a group of people, like if you were advising people on careers, or if you were looking to get into certain careers, especially in regards to things like um, econ um, things within economics and so on and so forth, paying attention to how much people are being paid is an important thing to pay attention to. Because if, especially even if you're in sales and marketing, for example, you can't start trying to sell things to people in a very, very wide way, in a broad way that addresses people of all kinds of different pay brackets, unless your product is actually affordable to those people. In which case, if you want to hit the largest number of people, you need to make sure that your product is affordable and and uh, of some value to people within the largest bracket, which would be people in this country at the at this uh, at least a couple of years ago, and probably still the same to now, as people within fifteen to seventeen thousand pounds a year as re in regards to their pay. But you, there, if if the one thing, the one final thing that I want to say in regards to the the gender and race and all the other excuses side of thing. If you find yourself to be on the same contract as someone else and you are being paid less and for, for, for reasons that you cannot understand, firstly, clarify it with your boss and if that doesn't, and if, if, if nothing comes of that and if you're not happy with it because there wasn't a good explanation, because you didn't have an HR department get in touch with you or payroll and actually explain to you what was going on, because potentially maybe you're being emergency taxed, maybe you're having other things happen with your money, maybe there are various other reasons, there could be a number of things. But seek clarification from your boss first, because most often it will be either a clerical error or it will be another issue that, that can easily be resolved and you will get your money because they have to pay you for the work that you do relative to your contract. No two ways about that, that's in law. If you do, however, find yourself to be on the same contract, that's the important thing, same contract as someone else and they are quite literally getting paid more for doing less or whatever, then if you are on the same contract and you are being screwed over and you aren't getting any clarification, you aren't getting any feedback, you aren't getting any information or anything from your employer, simply go to either the Citizen Advice Bureau and get some information from them as to where you need to go with your complaint, take it further up the chain, or go and seek um, uh, advice from people like the police because it is against the law to do that but you will find more often than not that most of those most of those contracts that you are being provided with are identical to those in the same position with the same responsibilities and so on and so forth because it's far easier for them for, for a, an employer to have a set contract that then they print off add your name to the top of and get you to sign then try and tailor each different contract to each different person that happens to be in each different position based on their prejudices. It wastes time, it wastes money, and no one's going to do it. There's no logic involved in that. In which case, ultimately, um, learn, learn what the averages mean, read information, stay curious about the things that you're interested in in regards to that information, don't be demoralized when someone tells you that something is the average. Look into it first. And when it finally finally comes down to it, 
If people are selling, telling you that things are unequal, at least within the UK and other European countries, or even the states where um, you have uh, equal employment and equal rights acts and things like that, if, if people are, are coming to you and going, oh, it's because of this, it's because of that, then either tell them to go and report it or tell them to stop making excuses because I, I can almost guarantee that 99% of the time no company is going to waste their time and money on messing around with that stuff when they could instead, I don't know, begin making money. Why, you know, one of the people that often make the excuses are also the people that complain that the corporate world controls the world. You cannot have it both ways. The corporate world may very well control the world, but the, re the reason they control the world is to make more money. They aren't going to waste time on individuals when they could be making money and gaining more control. You cannot do both. It makes no sense. But anyway, my name's Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain. If you found this interesting or informative, please subscribe for more and give us a like. In the comments below, do you ever feel that you've you've been um, given a, a, a shitty contract that doesn't add up to uh, the contracts of your peers? Do you ever feel like you've been discriminated against? Do you ever feel uh, in regards to your pay? Have you ever had someone shame you because you are on the the actual modal average pay of maybe fifteen to sixteen thousand pounds, fifteen to seventeen thousand pounds, but you have been told that when are you going to get a real job? Why don't why aren't you getting paid more? Why aren't you getting X, Y, and Z? Because they have a a the the um, the perception that the average is higher. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.